Now, you see that flagpole there? This is what I came to show you. All right, I'm showing you something a little bit different today. Today is July 4th, otherwise known as Independence Day, because it's not all about hot dogs and beer. It is about our freedom. I'm at this salvage yard. It is Leaf Sales. See the flag there? In uh, 1981, this was in the Guinness Book of Records as the tallest freestanding flagpole in the world. It is 191 feet, and the flag that they put on it, I think, is about 26, 25 or 6 feet by 15. They have to replace it about every three months because the winds here can be pretty strong, and it uh, pretty much destroys it, that and the heat, a lot of heat here. We're in the little town of Chula Vista, and the owner of this salvage yard is dead now, but his name is Jerry Leaf. And, let me get back up here so you can get a better look. Jerry Leaf was born about a hundred years ago, and he was watching a movie one day. He was from uh, Omaha, Nebraska. He was watching a movie one day in the theater, and at the end of the movie, they stopped, and on the screen it said, Pearl Harbor has just been attacked. And... The next day, he went and signed up with the Navy, and for many years, he served as a bombardier during World War II. Jerry moved his family here to the little town of Chula Vista. It was a little, at the time, 50,000 people. Now it's uh, much bigger. But he loved being close to Mexico and taking his family there for vacations. And he believed if you're going to do something do it big. So that's what he did. Uh, he wasn't necessarily a religious person, but he was extremely patriotic. This was his business for many years, and uh, they're closed today, of course, but in uh, 2013, he passed away. He was uh, 89. And I've ridden past this so many times, and my husband told me one day, you know, that used to be the world's tallest freestanding flagpole and um, I just felt like I had to show it to you especially today on the 4th of July. I'm glad to see they have the flag up. It's not too windy today which is good but it would be nice to see it all unfurled. Anyway that is my story. Hope everybody's having a fantastic 4th of July and uh, Independence Day and uh, remembering those who fought and died for this country and believe in preserving our freedoms. I'm so thankful for the, the veterans that have done so much for this country. Hope you enjoyed that. The sun is coming up and then I go home and watch a parade in my neighborhood. So I gotta hurry before they, they, cl they actually close the street because uh, it's a it's one way it's a neighborhood where it's at the top of this mountain and it's one way in and one way out. They close it to traffic and have a little parade. It's like uh, a little bit of a little bit of gravel here. It's like a cute small town atmosphere, very patriotic. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. It's, uh, I thought it was very interesting, and uh, thanks for watching. So far, so good. They got old cars, horses, motorcycles, bicycles, all the chairs lined up. Flags are out. That's what it's all about, people. Hometown America. Freedom.